Hello everyone, welcome to iExam B. Today morning we received the notification for SEBI grade A IT vacancies, information and technology vacancies. We have done a detailed session to know about the details. In this particular video, I am going to talk about the salary, the perks, the allowances and what is the growth and promotions aspect related to this particular job profile. Um, so uh, there have been announced 24 vacancies, 8 are backlog and 16 are new vacancies. So a total of 24 vacancies have been announced today by SEBI for the IT department. If you want to know the details as per uh, the eligibility, the exam pattern, how to prepare, what the syllabus is, you can watch this video related to uh, the notification and all the details that have been given in the notification that was done by Anshul Malik sir and Jayanti ma'am our IT faculty who has been guiding for students for this vacancy from the last two recruitment cycles. So uh, I will as I mentioned will be talking about the salary, the perks, the allowances, the promotion aspect uh, and all the other details related to your IT uh, job and a grade A officer in SEBI. So let's talk about first understand the IT department of SEBI. If you go on the website of SEBI, the IT department is summarized as one of the very very important uh, departments because it helps uh, the all the other departments and the SEBI as an uh, as the organization technology uh, as you know is very very important and like a backbone it works in any kind of organization and so it is true for SEBI also if uh, if I look at some of the key important points or the key areas of functions in which IT department is instrumental or is important they are looking at the development and the inter implementation of the enterprise-wide solutions, the maintaining of the portals, the gateways, the network infrastructure, the cloud infrastructure, and all the document management system uh, that is required in the organization. They also facilitate the ease of doing business for the various market interme intermediaries. So we know that SEBI is the capital markets regulator and there are a lot of intermediaries which get registered with SEBI right so uh, even there uh, all these intermediaries uh, uh, business and uh, in digital interfaces that happen between SEBI as the regulator and their own functioning that is also helped by in terms of easing the way regulations are complied the compliances are checked or the reporting that these intermediaries have to do they also develop the data warehouse system for surveillance inspection so as a regulator SEBI needs to inspect so do carry out surveillances of the various uh, entities that it regulates so that is also helped by the IT department data analytics a very very important uh, a function of any IT department in any organization and this is also the responsibility of the IT department at SEBI then ensuring cyber security so much data is there at SEBI from intermediaries that they are regulating and its own so security of all that data is very very essential very very critical so that is another responsibility of the IT department then they are also developing the framework for information interchange various with various government agencies and they also they also facilitate innovation in markets through SEBI's innovation sandbox framework so some as I said some of these very major functions from the IT department and if you want to know more or if these uh, terminology is looking difficult for you to understand you can also watch a video of Mr. Sharat Malik, Dr. Sharat Malik who is an ex-CGM at SEBI and he in detail had talked about a lot of departments at SEBI and also if you want to know only particularly about IT department you can refer to this uh, snippet from this entire session. This was a long session related to what a life of a SEBI officer is of a one hour every detail was given by sir in this video and specifically what IT department does uh, uh, is being mentioned in this part so you can also refer to this you will find uh, the link to these videos in the description box 
going ahead let me first before i move on to the salary and the allowances and the perks first let's talk about the career progression here right so as CB grade A officer, this is the entry uh, that allows you to enter into SEBI at this level, which is the assistant manager level. And you have the scope to grow up to the ED level, executive director level uh, in the organization. If I talk about the current people or the senior people in the IT department, uh, the importance of the IT department will be reflected when I look at this. So these are the key people as of now in IT department of SEBI. So if you look at this, there are two CGM to CGM for this particular department, which itself is showing that how big this department and how important this department has become. The importance is also reflected by the fact that SEBI has come out with the vacancies for IT so soon. We, they just concluded the SEBI grade A all streams recruitment few days back and they have come out with a new notification for IT department. So uh, the importance of this department and the growth of this department is just visible from the fact that there are two CGMs now. There are three GMs and some of the names of the DGMs are mentioned. But as per uh, the conversation that we've had, if you look at this particular uh, video, if you will listen to him, uh, uh, Malik sir had already mentioned that there are a lot more DGMs that have been uh, appointed or have been promoted as DGMs in the IT department. Now let me talk about something that is of your interest, more of your interest at the entry as grade A officer, the salary and the allowances. So in the notification under the third section, they have talked about the pay and allowances. So as grade A officers, you will be on probation for two years and the pay scale that you will fall in is being mentioned here. What this pay scale means, I will explain you in detail going ahead. In a nutshell, in the notification itself, SEBI has mentioned that this pay scale will give you an approximate monthly salary of 1,40,000 without accommodation and with accommodation it will be around 1,6,000 per month. Now let me show you one of the salary slips of this year for a grade A officer at SEBI. So if you will see the various elements of the salary, the basic pay, the special allowance, the learning allowance, the grade allowance, the DNS allowance, family allowance, house allowance, local allowance, special grade allowance, special compensatory and NPS contribution. And if you will see all of these, these are the actual pay slip at, secure, at SEBI Securities and Exchange Board of India. You get a monthly salary of 1,46,000. Of course, this is your gross salary, which is after eligible for various other deductions towards NPS and your tax, income tax, right? So this is your gross total salary, which is in line with what has been mentioned here by SEBI in its notification. But this is what is your gross pay. Over and above this, in the same notification in continuation, there are other various benefits, which are the perks and other benefits which you are eligible for, like your leave fare concession, medical expenses, I refraction, education allowance, financial dailies, so so many of them. So let me give you a gist of what amount does these benefits amount to? Okay, so if I look at the various allowances or the perks that are given to you apart from your monthly salary, it includes uh, petrol of uh, uh, almost 200 liters per month. And these are declaration based. If you claim telephone, book grant, house cleaning, briefcase uh, related expenses, financial dailies, Laptop allowances, this is given once in four years. Staff furnishing schemes, which is again given, uh, you know, as a lump sum in a, in a total years of five years once, right? Similarly, reimbursement for eye refraction test uh, or cost of spectacles, medical expenses, uh, children education. So if all this is also summed up on a monthly basis, it, it uh, adds up to approximately benefits of 55,000. 
Some other benefits which are bill based are your annual health checkup, vehicle insurance, dental uh, incentivization of certificates and LFC. Again, if these are all added up and then there is non-monetary perks in form of Sodoxu coupons that you can be uh, do you can use to buy various food items uh, at at eligible uh, stores uh, this also this benefit also adds up to around 7500 so in all given your gross pay and the various perks and allowances that you are eligible for your salary your benefit easily goes up to 2 lakh plus per month so a very, very good compensation. And in addition to all this compensation, there is more. What is that more? The more is the dignity and the respect which is associated with being a SEBI officer. SEBI is the regulator for the capital market. It is one of the important and a very, very important regulator in our country so being associated and being known as a SEBI grade officer is a matter of pride work that you are doing the work environment is very challenging it is dynamic and exciting and there's so much scope to keep learning on a continuous basis this is your individual growth that you are getting apart from this you bring happiness to your family to your friends you make them proud and you become an inspiration for so many other aspirants who want to be associated with SEBI, the regulator for capital markets. These benefits are priceless, which are always there, which are in addition to the pay and salary and the perks that you get on a tangible basis by being a SEBI grade A officer. So uh, if you are eligible, I think you should definitely prepare for this particular exam. If you are preparing on your own and want to practice, uh, free mock tests are available at iExamB. All mock tests at iExamB are free. You can go on our website www.iExamB.com under the free mock test section. When you go under the SEBI grade exam, you will find free mock test for various streams including IT so like here you can see there is IT uh, stream related mock tests that have been provided for you to practice if you need relevant guidance and the correct guidance accurate guidance for your preparation you can also enroll in the course that is available at iExamB and currently it is available at a flat 45 percent off which you can use the code IT45 to avail. We are starting a new batch on the July of 17th. So you can enroll now to get the benefit and prepare in a holistic manner for your CB Grade A IT 2022 vacancies. Uh, if you have any queries or any more details you want to know about, there's a Google form link given in the description, which you can fill. Thank you everybody for joining in. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.